One of the things we've found is that fundamental to our ability to succeed with marketing automation has been uh, our ability to generate uh, wide and deep appropriate audience targeted content. You have to have the content to do nurturing because nurturing means you hit them today, maybe they're not really interested in it, you hit them again with a slightly different message about a different part of their problem with a different piece of content. The goal is to get them to say, aha, I need that now. You need to be able to try and move a customer from one stage to the next stage. And our content marketing program gives us now the tools to be able to influence that particular prospect to move them to that next stage. We have nurture buckets based on what we know about the lead through this journey up and down uh, marketing and sales, even if they don't are uh, not re ready yet to become a qualified lead, we know so much about them and uh, their interests that we were able to put them in a, an automated nurture path and send them a, a regular diet of the information that we think they're interested in. So all of our content is designed against personas and is, a, and is overlaid across all of our buying stages. So we have specific content that targets each of those personas at those different buying stages. And it's become just a tremendous resource for our business. About a year ago, we started getting far more serious about investing in content by uh, both upgrading some of the systems we were using, but frankly doing a lot more work to hire and outsource the, the de development of a lot of great content that we can use throughout the entire sales and customer life cycle. And the impact of that for us has been that we've not only been able to basically double our pipeline almost every quarter, but the quality of that pipeline and the speed with which our sales reps can convert from initial interest and awareness and leads to sales qualified prospects to actually closed accounts has, has gone up dramatically. People are not answering their phones when people call to say, do you want to buy my product? You need to be giving the information about why you're adding value to them in a digestible way when they're ready to digest it, not when you're just pushing it at them. So understanding that balance I think is really about what this next generation of marketing is about.